can you learn to code just on a mobile phone? There are a lot of apps that make the claim that they will teach you to code, but I'm not sure that most of them are actually that good. But I want to find out. So I'm going to install a load of coding apps onto this phone and let you know if it's even possible to learn to code on one of these. Okay, so the first problem is that there are just so many to choose from. Where do you even start? So I've installed about a dozen apps. So I just wanted to let you know that the first app is the worst app and they get progressively better. So keep watching until the end because the last one is pretty good indeed. And I think you'll like it. It's on my phone. I'm not gonna show you them all, but I'm gonna share with you the ones I like. And then I'm going to tell you why I didn't like some of the ones that weren't so good. Starting here with Master Coding, which is a good example of a bad example, if that makes any sense. It looks quite promising to start with, and it has a good range of topics. But when you click on them, you see you just get lots and lots of text. There's no interactivity. So you're not getting much practical experience of coding, it's just reading. Not a great user experience, and I wouldn't recommend it. So that was the first one, and it was rubbish. The second one is a little bit better, but not much. Another one I'm not sure about is this from Python Technologies. Now it looks pretty good to start with. It has a range of tutorials uh, and it seems to cover a lot of different topics. But one thing that put me off, if you find yourself getting a little bit bored in this section, then just bear with it because it does get better. I, I promise, it, it really does. Was I was looking through these tutorials and I looked at the BioPython basics. It looked familiar. And so I went to the BioPython website and the text on here is, well, it seems to be a word for word copy of what's on the BioPython website. Also, like the master coding app, this doesn't seem to be particularly interactive. It's okay, but I think you could do a lot better. So this now is the, the last one that I, I didn't really like. You know, so, so you're almost there. Congratulations for <laughs> sticking with it. Python X feels like a real step up from the previous two, and the lessons are far more interactive. Although the information is mainly text and video, at the end of each little section, there's a quiz that you have to answer to move on. And that just helps to keep you more engaged. More thoughts gone into this one, and it is a much better user experience. Whilst I'm recommending apps, I'd like to recommend this one from this video sponsor, NordVPN. There are loads of things that you can do with NordVPN. It has some great features. For a start, you can hide your physical location from advertisers and websites. But better than that, you can choose where you want that physical location to appear to be. So if you're based in the US, but you want it to look like you're browsing the internet from the UK, you can do that very easily. And that has another benefit. You know when you're traveling and you lose access to all your streaming service libraries because you're not in your home country? Well, with NordVPN, you can get around that by just choosing your location to be in that home country, even if you're elsewhere. Go to nordvpn.com slash Python programmer for a huge discount on the two year plan. Plus you'll get four additional months for free and there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So it is risk free. NordVPN is more than a VPN. It has lots of other features. What I want to tell you about is threat protection, where with one click, you can protect yourself from malware, dangerous files and websites, malicious ads and trackers. So why wouldn't you want to sign up? Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video, nordvpn.com slash Python programmer. Why don't you go and check it out now? The next app feels like a really big leap. It's called Grasshopper, it's backed by Google. Now it's limited to JavaScript and it's really aimed at beginners. If you're not a beginner, you're not gonna get very much from this. But compared to the apps we've seen so far, it's really well designed, it's interactive, you actually get to code in the app and your code will actually run. And it teaches you in small bite-sized sections. If you've ever used Duolingo to learn a language, this reminds me of that. It's quite similar in terms of its style. It's completely free, there are no in-app purchases, and I definitely recommend it. It's a great way to start learning to code. The next app is by far my favorite, and I like it for many different reasons. It's well-designed, it's not just aimed at beginners, and it's interactive. You can code into the app and run the code. Solo Learn, Solo Learn. It's called Solo Learn, and there's a link in the description. 
It's a paid for app, but there's a lot of free content on there and I didn't pay for it. It's pretty comprehensive and the lessons are well thought out. There's text followed by code, which you can run in the coding environment and play around with it. It covers quite advanced topics. And then in the community section, it goes even further. There are sections on algorithms and data structures and even more. In the Python part, there's even a section on NumPy and it's pretty good. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually running NumPy on my phone. That's fantastic. The coding challenges are pretty good too. I think you'll like it. So to answer the question that we started with, can you learn to code on a mobile phone? Surprisingly, the answer to that question, and I really wasn't expecting this, is to an extent, yes, you can. I mean, it's not brilliant. It'd be much better to do it on a computer because you can do other things like working on projects. But with just a mobile phone, you can learn the basics, you can write and run code, you can learn to debug that code, and you can work on small challenges. And I'd like to say a big thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video.